This is Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk on Monday, November 15, 2010. All times on the chart are Central Standard Time. Today we're featuring our pivot strategies, and I speak of them as in a plural form because we've placed several strategies on the chart. We have basically three sets of strategies with identical settings with the exception of the OBOS setting. The first set of uh, strategies, the OBOS on the large contract 3 and 10 is set to 25 and 75. The second set is set to 20 and 80. And the third set is set to 10 and 90. Other than that, the only other thing that differs is that we're also using a volume setting here, here, and here. And just wanted to get an idea of the differences in the trades. Most of the trades have at least two of these strategies firing off at exactly the same time. Here our first short trade hits its profit target, second trade long hits its profit target, third trade hits its profit target, fourth trade does fifth set of trades, uh, kind of goes sideways, doesn't quite make it to the profit target, and then we have all cylinders uh, uh, firing off a long trade here that hits its profit uh, target of eight ticks. Ours. Retracement lines today were 86% accurate. Now, as for the pattern of the day, uh, we uh, at risk follow a four-color pattern. And uh, today's pattern, oddly enough, turned out to be yellow. Uh, one of our traders called in and asked us around noon what we thought the pattern was going to be, and I really couldn't say. It... Um, if we were to use our retracement lines as a basis for trying to call the pattern of the day, we we had a conflict because we were right up in here at the time of the discussion and we have these retracement lines below the market, high probability of those being hit. We have retracements above the market, high probability of those being hit. And at least at the time, if you were looking at the pattern here at around 1 o'clock, you'd have thought we had gone north and uh, hit the 12.05 uh, uh, and a half retracement line, but instead it turned south and hit the lower retracement line. Ultimately, this turned out to be a yellow day, as we would call it. If you want more information on that, call us. We'll be happy to go over some of the rules with you. Um, but uh, that was the ultimate uh, color, but hard to say. Hard to call that uh, until uh, much later in the day, which hardly accomplishes much. <laughs> because the, the pattern of the day is useful in terms of your exit. And as you can see, the strategy kept going long, which is not unusual when the market is tanking, but the trend was down. Uh, we could uh, we could have been looking at picking off trend trades on the way down and still not knowing for sure whether this thing was going to turn around and start heading back up. But that's, uh, that's the way it played out, and so we invite you to uh, come to our website, take a look at our newly uh, designed website, ask for a demo, comment on our videos. We appreciate that. And uh, as for what else the day will bring, let's uh, oh, let's just take a moment and uh, inform you as to where our bias will be in the morning. And here's how we uh, determine our bias. We look at uh, the fair value line compared to our upper thresholds versus our lower thresholds with fair value being closer to the upper thresholds that calls for tomorrow being short. We do have retracements uh, way up at 12.05 uh, still, but uh, we may not get there. Uh, in any case, the bias tomorrow morning 
is short. So that completes our video. This is Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk.